All right. In the previous section, in the previous lecture, we studied, as you might be aware, we studied about the black body radiation. And now onwards, we will have a look upon the theory which was given by Planck, why he, der why he derived the relation, why he gave the relation between the energy density and the temperature, which furthermore it came out to be the relation called as uh, the Stefan's law. So we will discuss the black body, black body spectrum, spectrum. Okay, but before that, coming to our main topic, we have to look upon the factor that from where the Planck, from where Planck started. Planck started from a relation which was derived from the Bose-Einstein statistics. So what the Bose-Einstein Bose statistics actually deduced is that we have, for example, for the sake of argument, take the diagram here. If we consider the phase space coordinate system wherein we take the momentum space actually for example this is the momentum space wherein we have momentum axis uh, momentum is increasing or decreasing with respect to the origin so we take the momentum space as consider something consider a sphere around the origin here with p equal to zero here and the as we go apart from the origin the momentum increases so if we take a spherical shell like this this will be having some for example this is having some radius p here and the outer shell this is the inner shell and this is the outer shell of the momentum with p and this will be having some momentum radius like uh, p plus dp this may, this much quantity is dp so our spherical shell will be inside the momentum of p and p plus dp so this is our phase space in the coordinate system of momentum what actually you have you might have already studied in the thermodynamics earlier also we have in the thermodynamics in the statistical thermodynamics you might have seen the thermodynamic the thermodynamic probability probability for any states for example for n states in the k compartments for the sake of argument we take like this we take the momentum space here this much of momentum space and it might have it must be having some, certain kind of energy levels inside it for the sake of argument we take the number of uh, number of elements number of uh, particles inside this very phase space to be an i with any kind of uh, state energy state in the energy state i it must be having certain kind of uh, certain number of elements certain number of particles with uh, uh, having some energy level ui inside the phase space with the compartments we can say inside this the energy different energy levels say the number of those very number of those are called as the phase space cells phase space cells you might have undergone these kind of uh, definitions in the earlier class also these kind of topics the number of phase space cell we will represent that by gi for any space fixed state okay the number of element the number of particles will be ni and in gi phase space cells so for that 
the thermodynamic probability from the statistical thermodynamic subject you might have seen that the thermodynamic probability represented by w this will be given as it is given as if you are you, you are facing any kind of difficulty please uh, let me know about that because this very thing is already dealt in the, in detail in the thermodynamic section and you might have already studied about those very things in your earlier classes so i am assuming that you are aware about these very these very definitions okay furthermore if you feel still any difficulty please let me know i will give another lecture if you feel any kind of difficulty in the future time but right now i am assuming that the students are aware about these very definitions so the thermodynamic probability for such kind of stuff where you know we take the momentum coordinates with certain kind of uh, energy levels having some number of uh, particles inside it with some phase space cells gi this is number of phase space cells like you can compare it with the compartments so the thermodynamic probability is given as to be equal to this is the multiplication running over from i is equal to 1 to k where k is the total number of the compartment total number of the phase space cells uh, multiplication running from this to this as n plus g n i plus g i plus sorry it's minus 1 factorial whole divided by g i minus 1 factorial multiplied n i factorial this is the thermodynamic probability given for this this kind of condition wherein we have particles and the particles here are we are dealing with the black body spectrum so the particles here are photons okay so this kind of we are dealing with the system having the particles which are behaving like the bose einstein particles so here in this case it is both it is a uh, photon gas okay so we are studying actually the light we are studying actually the electromagnetic radiations that's called as the photon gas so for the for any photon gas system we have the probability thermodynamic probability given by this very thing so if we apply if we differentiate with this very thing so upon the upon solving it you might have seen in the earlier classes we can solve it furthermore and we get upon solving it we get differentiation of this thermodynamic uh, probability is equal to upon solving you can you will apply upon this very thing the styling uh, formula also you might have seen that the styling formula is for any number the ln of that very number if we apply ln of factorial of that will be given as to be equal to n ln of n minus n this will be the this will be the formula which is called as a styling formula will be used here and other thing this uh, when, when we apply log upon both sides this very multiplication which is running from i to k will get converted to uh, summation because we know you might have seen that something ln of a multiplied by b is equal to ln of a plus b so when we apply the law log that is the natural log here upon the multiplication a multiplied by b it gets converted to summation similarly when you apply the ln here this multiplication will be converted into the summation process okay so what we'll be getting upon uh, deriving all this stuff i'm actually concise and trying to make it concise as much as it's possible because you have already seen this these very kind of things in your previous classes so we'll be getting differentiation of 
ln of this thermodynamic probability that is w to be equal to summation where our multiplication gets changed to summation um, where summation is running from 1 i equal to 1 to k ln of n plus this n i plus g i why the extra terms gets cancelled due to by due to the use of this Sutterling formula for n to be very very large n i g i minus ln of n i. So this will be the thermodynamic probability where you get this very kind of thing. So why do we need this? We need this for the reason so that for any kind of black body for example this is our black body we are having a photon gas inside this okay so we need actually the number of photons present at any instant of time present inside the black body present inside the cavity which is acting as the black body here so Planck took the uh, use of these very formulas where he then actually arrived at um, how we can deduce the number of uh, number of photons and how we can deduce the energy affiliated with those photons inside the black body so we get the basic formula from there from our statistical thermodynamics which will be like this from now onwards we'll be using this very uh, formula let me erase this first hope you are getting this and you are aware about it in your previous classes also i am hoping for that furthermore if you feel any kind of difficulty kindly, kindly let me know i will try my level best in the future i told you earlier also that this quantum mechanics assumes that you have well kind of you have enough knowledge about your electromagnetism good hold up on the thermodynamics so that's why this kind of stuff will come in this subject so this is our equation now for the thermodynamic probability and let's assume that at any at any stage uh, for at any instant of time for any system if we have the number of particles say total number of particles is n inside this system okay and it's well known that different kind of particles will have different kind of energies so let's suppose that this kind of energy level is having these kind of particles another level is having this much of quantity of uh, particles and another level is having certain number of particles so different uh, energy levels will be having different number of uh, particles inside it a kind of state where the thermodynamic probability will be maximum so that means there will be maximum number of maximum number of particles will be available will be present in that very uh, energy state maximum number of particles present in present in some ui state okay having some energy u in that very state so that very uh, that very state is called as the most probable state okay most probable energy state probable most probable energy state and for that most probable energy state if we draw the graph for the sake of argument i will show it here if we have the graphical representation like this this along this axis we will take the ln of thermodynamic probability that's ln of w we'll be having the graph like this it will be having certain kind of depth and certain kind of uh, elevation there will be a point where the thermodynamic probability will be having a peak the peak value what the state where it is having the peak value this very state is called as the most probable energy level 
most probable state okay and for most probable state if we apply the differentiation and differentiation means you are aware about it that differentiation is actually the slope of that very curve okay differentiation at any point for a graph is equal to the slope of that very graph at that point slope of the graph at that point for here we have the most probable state so the graph if we draw actually the slope and slope of the graph is given by the tangent of that very tangent at that point is given by the tangent at that point tangent at that point and here the respect to point is this very energy state which is the most probable state at that point and if we draw the tangent at this very point what will be the tangent here that will be parallel to the horizontal axis like this this will be the tangent to that very graph at this very point and its slope is what is the slope of this its slope is zero because it is totally horizontal to the uh, this the, totally parallel to the horizontal axis this is having the slope of zero so that means if we differentiate this ln of w our thermodynamic probability we'll be getting the differentiation equal to zero because the slope is zero and slope you know the differentiation of that very quantity is zero here so that means we will get this ln of differentiation of ln of w equal to zero for most probable state for most probable for most probable state okay so that means this very thing is equal to zero which in turn means that this whole quantity will be equal to zero but this condition is applied only for most probable state as you have seen that for most probable state the slope is zero and you'll be getting this whole term to be equal to zero applying other conditions there are there is a constraint which is applied on to this very thing the constraint is very much simple what is that i will show you you have seen now that the for most probable energy state will be having the this equation to be equal to zero and we will apply the constraints for instance i have shown you earlier that for any energy level say u1 will be having certain kind of elements uh, particles present inside it and the say number of particles present are n1 for some level 2 we will be having number of particles n2 similarly for n3 will be having u having energy u3 will be having the uh, number of particles n3 and so on and so forth so we will be having the total energy u equal to the first i will elaborate it for n1 for energy level u1 we will be having n1 particles so the total energy will be n1 times that much of u1 kind of energy associated with those particles similarly with n2 with the energy level u2 we will be having number of particles n2 so the total energy will be affiliated with that state equal to n2 u2 but combining all of these states we will be having summation of these two states similarly for the third state and fourth state and all other states up till we get up to the nth k state where the particles residing in that state will be nk so the total energy of that very state will be nk times uk of that very energy level so the total energy will be given to be equal to this very thing but we know that for any system which is closed the total energy is constant that is total energy of that very system is constant 
say it is equal to some constant k okay so that means in this case here we will be having the total energy total energy equal to total energy to be constant to be equal to k okay till now it is cool so that means if we differentiate this very thing this can be this can be furthermore represented in the summation form as summation i running from 1 to k and i u i and i u i for any specific energy state u having the number of particles present inside that very state n i so the total energy will be running from i states to k state having this much of energy associated with them so it will be simply represented in the summation form so if we differentiate this very thing du that is the total energy if we differentiate this this can be represented as the summation i running from 1 to 1 to k and i that is sorry for any specific for any specific state you will be having a kind of uh, energy associated with it ui and we are changing with respect to energy state we, we will be having a change in the number of particles so we will be changing actually the number of particles here that is differentiation with respect to n okay but you know that the total energy is constant and if we differentiate the total energy that means change in the total energy is actually zero there is no change in the total energy so that means the differentiation of the total energy is equal to zero that means this very quantity is equal to zero fine cool using this very equation now I have shown I have told you earlier that this very the system used here is actually the photon gas and the statisticus we are using right now it is Bose Einstein statistics okay you have seen the, this very thing in the previous classes so our total change in the energy will be equal to zero so this quantity will be equal to zero so what i will do earlier we got this very thing equal to zero using the most probable state condition so if i uh, using the lagrange multipliers you have seen you might have seen in the previous classes also uh, these kind of uh, problems can be solved by using the method of lagrangian okay what is that it is simply i will simple simply use it here Try to keep it simple by multiplying this very thing, this very equation by beta. Okay, so we, what we'll be getting, multiplying this very thing by beta, and this beta you will, uh, as you go onwards, you will see that this beta is equal to one upon k t, where k is Boltzmann constant and t is the temperature at which our system is kept at any instant of time so what will be the result here we will get beta times summation u i d n i equal to zero from this very equation because applying beta on both sides here it is zero already we'll be getting zero and multiplying here by beta we'll be getting beta times this very thing now simply subtract this very equation from this very equation because there will be no change on the right hand side of it it will be equal to zero so what will be the result i should erase it okay keep this very thing in mind that beta equal to one upon kt this will be useful in your future 
problems also. So what will be the result of this very thing? Summation. Now we will be getting the result will be summation of summation i running from 1 to k ln of this ln of n i plus g i minus ln of n i ln of n i minus times go subtracting so we subtract this very equation from this minus times beta minus times beta summation of summation where the summation is running from i equal to 1 to k again u i the energy of the specific state multiply d and i equal to 0 minus 0 that's 0 equal to 0 okay hope you are getting it it's very much simple equal to zero this is our this is our equation which we have arrived at so now we can solve it furthermore to get a simple result here we can use This is the summation used for whole of it and this very summation is used for whole of it. So we will get applying the summation condition. Here this is the ln of something some quantity say a ln of a minus ln of b and you know the basic formula of logarithms ln of a multiplied by b is equal to ln of a plus b ln of a plus ln of b similarly if it is division here we will get ln of a minus ln of b so ln of a minus ln of b equal to ln of a divided by b so here we will be getting this implies summation i running from 1 to k this ln of a minus ln of b will be equal to the ln of a this is ni plus gi minus ln of b that is equal to ln of a divided by b whole divided by b b is ni ni minus beta times this very thing minus beta times and here we can we can we will write it as it is u i d n i equal to zero this will be equal to zero since we we are having this summation present over both of these terms both of these terms here and there after k we will apply the summation over both of these so that we get a simplified version of this very problem so we will get the summation of both these terms that will be running from i1 to k ln of ni plus gi divided by ni minus beta times I think I'm missing something there should have been a term D and I somewhere and that is I have I have sorry I have erased that very thing there should have been a D and I here kindly kindly rewind the lecture because I have erased it already the formula which I have written earlier is having where, where we differentiated the most probability thermodynamic probability density probability function w ln of w at that time we will be getting this d and i because we are differentiating with respect to that very number of particles because number of particles is right now in the photon gas that is in both Einstein statistics number of particles is 
getting varied that is there is a change in the number of particles bosons are at every instant of time some bosons are trapped some are given out by the black body so there will be a differentiation with respect to number of particles so there will be a d and i in this very term sorry for that i have mistakenly written these these very equation without this d and i you have to fix it out so we'll be having d and i here differentiation with respect to number of particles so differentiating this very term is having this very d and i with it here dif uh, differentiation of n i with it so we will take it out we will be getting beta of u i summation is uh, fixed with it is attached with both of these terms we will be getting beta times u i d and i with this very thing and this very thing and we will take it out as here d and i equal to zero hope you are getting it cool i hope this is very much simple this is not some rocket science it is simply the mathematics basic mathematics you are solving this very thing so here uh, till now we are getting this very equation and we know that for this very pro most probable for the black body radiation here we know for every energy state for every energy state the number of particles n i is varying as i said it is bose einstein following the bose einstein statistics this is a bose gas or the photon gas wherein a black body is continuously absorbing the photons as well as radiating the photons as i have told you earlier that black body is that body which absorbs as well as emits all kind of radiation is possible so at any instant of time there will be the number of particles that is the number of photons for any state will keep on changing so the number of particles present inside this very state will keep on changing independently it will not be dependent upon this very state or other kind of states so the variance in this very thing is independent of the other states so variance variance in this d and i is independent of independent of other states other states what does that mean that means this quantity at any instant of time it can keep on changing this couldn't be equal to zero at any instant of time not at any instant of time but for specific uh, energy level for any energy level this won't be equal to zero so what in turn that mean that means we have equality here equal equality is zero that means we should have on the left side either of these terms to be zero which means that this term should follow for every energy state this this uh, portion must be independently this must independently vanish this term must vanish independently for every possible state this very should be equal to zero so that so as to follow this very condition because this very thing is having the variance independent of uh, other states so we will get this very thing equal to zero only and only if this very condition is followed only and only if this very term is equal to zero for each and every state possible inside the black body so what is the result what is the final result here please try to keep on the track on the earlier lectures also and have a nice kind of revisions so that you will be getting this these very things clear so right now we are having this very term to be equal to zero and that is only possible if this very term is 
zero vanishes for each and every state which is present inside the black body so we are having this very thing to be equal to zero that is ln of n i plus g i divided by n i we ha you have seen that this summation is running from ith state from one from i equal to one state first state to kth state but you have seen that this must vanish for each and every state so that means we won't need this very summation now because it is getting we are getting zero uh, result for this very thing for each and every state so this very thing will be independently equal to zero so we can use i equal to any kind of energy state possible inside that black body so uh, we'll be getting ln of this very thing minus beta of ui equal to zero till now cool are you getting it hope you understand it better now that we are getting this very thing possible only if this very thing is equal to zero for each and every state so furthermore solving this very thing we'll be getting first to make it i'll make a bit of space here so we have reached this to this very thing and it can be written as ln of ln of this very thing plus gi divided by ni equal to shifting this very term to right hand side we will be getting positive beta times ui cool bracket so applying we you know that from the basic from the basic mathematics that ln of a if ln of a is equal to the b then that is equivalent to saying that a is equal to e to the power b this is simple mathematics you might have already undergone these kind of things so in this case here we have learned of something is equal to some other thing so that means we we can write this very thing is this very equation as n i plus g i divided by n i equal to e to the power like this ln of a equal to b then a is equal to ln of this that is a this very thing is equal to e to the power e to the power b and b here is this very thing beta times ui beta times ui cool so what do we get we'll be getting so uh, dividing this very thing each term dividing by ni we will get here ni divided by ni that's 1 plus gi divided by gi divided by ni equal to e to the power beta ui okay furthermore subtracting one from both sides we will be getting gi divided by ni equal to e to the power beta ui minus 1 subtracting both sides by 1 we'll get rid of this very one on left hand side and on right hand side we'll get an extra term minus 1 so from there we'll be getting this very equation as here I will write it again. Recipro if we make the reciprocal of this very equation, write ni instead of gi and gi instead of ni, taking the reciprocal on both of these, uh, both uh, both on the both sides, we will be getting ni divided by gi. Ni divided by gi will be equal to one divided by this whole thing, making the reciprocal of this very thing on both sides. So we'll be getting one divided by this very thing, e to the power, e to the power, beta ui, 
where ui is the energy level energy of each state for here specific state i 1 divided by e to the power beta ui minus 1 minus 1 or or this can be written as n that is the number of number of particles in a specific state in the ith state with uh, the state having the energy level having the energy equal to ui so for that very energy level the number of particles present inside that very energy state will be given as to be equal to and i will be equal to gi times why gi for that very specific energy level is the number of phase space cells okay in the momentum coordinate system which i have shown you earlier this is the number of phase space cells present inside that very state which is under discussion here the ith state ith energy state so ni will be equal to gi here gi divided by e to the power beta ui minus 1 this is our final result and this is called as the bose einstein bose einstein einstein statistics for the number of particles present in the ith state okay so this is our relation from where planck started for a black body because here it is both einstein statics which is applicable for photon gas this is applicable for photon gas as i have already shown you earlier and in case of the black body spectrum we know that electromagnetic radiations are actually the photons so this kind of relation this is the relation which will be used and which was actually used by planck so as to derive the actual statistics of this black body spectrum what is the nature of the black body spectrum what is the energy uh, what kind of energy density is there present inside the black body or what kind of energy density is emitted by the black body that will be given by using with the, by the use of this bose einstein statistics and the number of particles present in any state at any instant will be given by this very thing so in the next lecture hopefully we will start the actual the derivation which was derived by planck by with the use of this basic formula here so keep this uh, remember this very formula it is very much useful this is the you this uh, is the use of this uh, black body spectrum here it will be used the use of bose einstein statistics in the black body radiation you will see the uh, application of that very statistics in the bose einstein in the sorry black body spectrum wherein you will be getting the result how energy and temperature are related to each other so for that the basic the basic formula which was used by planck and stefan was actually this bose einstein equation so kindly remember this very thing and hopefully you will get you have got all of these things which i discussed today hopefully but uh, if you feel any kind of difficulty in any kind of uh, stuff which was used today maybe it may have i may have exaggerated some kind of stuff i don't know i assume that you have already uh, undergone through these very uh, kind of subjects in your previous classes so this is expected because quantum mechanics assumes that you have studied well your uh, thermodynamics and your electromagnetism and these kind of uh, this kind of stuff is already known to you in those very subjects so i have assumed that but still then if you feel any problem kindly uh, let me know and in the next class i will discuss further the planck uh, derivation by the planck and the stefan's law and other kind of stuff 
Till then, keep smiling. Hopefully I will see you in the next. Thank you.